So what is up pimps, hoes, and buffaloes, I am back you today with some more gameplay commentary and as you can see, I am using the sexy as ever M16 and this gun has been one of my favourites right back from Black Ops where the days where, you know, you could get a 3 burst kill with it, these days it probably isn't as good, but stick a red dot on rapid fire on it guys and you probably will see the best out of this gun as much as it is not on the same level as the ACR or anything like that, you know, you can have a lot of fun with this gun and it's pretty rewarding when you use it when you do well as well. But anyway, I don't really want to speak about the gameplay too much today because I think it speaks for itself. It was a pretty nice game. I'm not going to tell you the score, but all I'm going to say is it was not a Moab. And I understand some of you may want to turn this video off as soon as I've said that because, you know, you always see me post Moabs and that is what you have come to expect from this channel. You know, it's not up with the standards of the triple Moabs that you'll see on Insomulus's channel or Green Goblin HD or anyone like that, but you do expect Moabs from me. And, you know, I've been thinking about this recently. I was playing MW2 on Sunday. It was when I was post... When, well, when I was creating the video that I made for you guys, the Q&A video, which has gone down really well, by the way. If you have any more questions, do not hesitate to ask me. But when I was doing that, I was playing some MW2. And as much as it's all hacked and you get the messages popping up on the screen, it's actually a really, really fun game. And... As I was seeing the nukes flying from people, you know, boosting and all that shit, because as much as it's fun, it's <laughs> there's so much bullshit in it. It's almost, you know, not even not even worth running the servers for the game still. But looking at the nukes flying in and thinking about these mobs and, you know, the fact that no Moab means, you know, people aren't satisfied and all that sort of shit. What do we really want to see in Black Ops 2 in terms of, you know, the ultimate kill streak? As, you know, MW2, the nuke was the ultimate kill streak. And as we all come to know, the M Moab is the ultimate kill streak in MW3. And it's led me to think about what they could do in Black Ops to sort of balance it out a little bit, make it more difficult to get these Moabs. Because when you stick an ACR specialist on, it's almost impossible not to get a Moab if you're playing against average to, you know, bad players. And as soon as you get your kill streaks in MW2, your Harriers, your Chopper Gunners, you know, the generic setup. As soon as you got those, you're pretty much guaranteed your nuke. And I was thinking, how could they make Black Ops 2 better in terms of still offering that, you know, the big reward for a really good game, but keeping it balanced at the same time and making it a bit more difficult to get because I think it's almost too easy using the generic stuff that everyone uses to get these high kill streaks. And I was thinking perhaps about a different, two different sort of things. And perhaps if you're going 50 and 0 or 60 and 0 to have an assault Moab or an assault nuke, that sort of thing doesn't end the game. I think that probably is the worst thing about the tactical nuke on MW2. The fact it ends the game. So perhaps maybe a 50 or a 60 kill streak using assault. You know your your assault kill streak kills count for whatever, and you ah, you guys know it. But um yeah maybe a 50 or 60 one for an assault to get the big kill streak and specialist. 25 as much as it feels like it's lasting forever when you get into the teens. I think probably making it from say 30 35. Maybe even 40 if we're pushing it. No, 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 not 40. 30 or 35. Just to make it a little bit more difficult to get and make it that much more of a push so the good players on these games can, you know, really show themselves a bit more. And I know this is probably never going to happen. And, you know, Black Ops 2 has already been made, as we have seen. Some of the stuff on E3 in the last couple of days, which has been streamed, which I personally think looks really good. I don't think it's as futuristic as I originally perceived. Which I think is going to be a good thing. It's sort of keeping to the whole Call of Duty theme without making it too much like a Halo game. But anyway guys, this video is coming to an end in the next minute or so. And I think I've made my feelings clear about what I want to see in Black Ops 2 in terms of the ultimate kill streak. And if you guys agree with me, or even if you do disagree with me, you know, don't hesitate to let me know. Don't dislike the video just because you simply disagree with my opinion. I'd rather you left a comment and, you know, sort of... Show me your side of the story and we can have a little conversation down in the comment section, guys. But, um, yeah, apologizes, apologizes, apologies that this was not a Moab because, you know, as I said, you guys have all come to expect that from me. But hopefully, hopefully you appreciate that maybe the Moab isn't everything on this game. And as much as it is the ultimate kill streak, it doesn't really matter that much because, you know, I would have only got like three or four kills from it anyway. And it didn't affect the scoreline that much. But anyway, guys, if you have liked this video, like I said, please leave it a like and, you know, interact with me in the comment section. But anyway, it's been your boy, the Hutter of Buffalo, and I am out for today, pimps. Peace.